Hi, Tony Sweet here. I'm going to show you a um, quick uh, sky replacement maneuver in uh, Luminar 2018, um, which is really strong software. Um, so let me just open the image. I've had uh, some questions on this, so I thought I would just show you how it's done. It's not that uh, not that big a deal, really. So uh, here's the sky we chose, I that I chose. And here's the uh, the image that I'm going to put the sky into. Really nice shot. Yeah, not a bad. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a good good subject. Let's go into open, and we'll bring that into Luminar. Okay, are you really? Uh, I really don't know of any way to combine these um, uh, uh, two shots without exporting them, which is fine. So I've got my sky, I've got my original image here, and uh, this may need a little adjustment, so I'll do a quick uh, quick adjustment here. Uh, we're going to add a filter, and just develop, like it's a raw file, no big deal. And everything appears to be fine, except for the foreground right here. And that's a function of shadows. Bring the shadows up a notch, 100%, works just fine. And now it's more even, and we get rid of the, uh, the dark areas here. Now, we want to add our sky. <coughs> Excuse me. So in this case, um, we're done with the filters catalog. Thank you. And we're going to click on the plus up here. We're going to add a layer. And the layer is going to be a new image. The, uh, the sky image to be exact. So we'll click on this. And it'll say where's the new image and it's right here so I'm going to bring this in this will cover the original because this has a 100% opacity um, and we can also adjust the image down here also um, <coughs> excuse me jeez uh, I don't want to get too crazy so just a little bit of punch could be good that's enough brought the golds out a bit you know and we'll pitch this spot here in a second anyway and we're going to say okay so we have our sky and our image in place now this is the move that's going to do it all for you so we have three ways to get to it we have the brush on the selected layer which is the uh, sky click on the brush and go to gradient mask or you can go into the tools drop down and hit gradient mask up here or if you're a keystroke person, as you can see, letter G will give you that also. So we'll say letter G. And now it just says click and drag. Oop. <laughs> Let me go back. Let me start that again. Click and drag a new to draw gradient. So just click and drag. Now you see we have both images that are somewhat visible. The background and the foreground. So now they're manageable. So, um, I want to begin this at the horizon. See, that's the entire cloud shot. But I want to begin that at the horizon. So we'll pull this bottom line up a little bit to the horizon. See it? So it starts right there. And the clouds do not start at the horizon. They're a little bit up in the air, which looks a little more natural. And we're still a little bit of ghosting going on here. That's a function of blend modes, which are, I believe, where are we? Okay, hang on a second. There it is, where it says normal. <laughs> Sorry. Here's our blend modes. And they're live, so you can scroll right through them. And notice the, uh, the, the, uh, that little faded area tends to come and go. See, multiply gives you much darker trees. Color burns kind of crazy. And then lighten, screen, all of these don't really work on this particular image as you can see but the multiply and darken seem to work i'll pick multiply now all the adjustments that you're going to make now with this um this uh this grad in here you move it up move it down again you just adjust to taste what i want is just a very subtle early morning very thin very subtle clouds 
going on there. Now we're still we still have this uh, the selection, so we can also say make it a bit darker, a bit brighter, that kind of thing. You have some some control. And you can also move this up higher if you want. But I want some some drama in the sky. So I'm thinking just go back, uh, darken this just a shade. Right about there is not bad. Right about there. And it appears that uh, we can say that we're done, which I believe is here. And now we can adjust the entire image since the, uh, the selection is gone. And we can say, uh, play with exposure a bit, a little brighter. We bring it back a notch somewhere around here. And I think we're basically, uh, basically good. Let's pull the highlights back and not see what that does. See, it darkens the top a little bit too much. I like it about there. So it's just subtle enough um, that we can make it uh, make it work. So that's pretty much how uh, this works. If we turn off our layer, see that's before, and then we dropped in our very subtle clouds, and that's um, that's pretty much it. So. Um, so thanks for watching. The uh, 2018 workshops are up online at uh, TonySuite.com, and we hope to see you out there. Thanks a lot.